Hi, this is Allison, and this is part one of my book review of Harry Potter analysis books, some books that don't get so much exposure to the Harry Potter fandom and fan community, but I think that a lot more people would really enjoy if they only knew about them. And uh, the sales rankings on Amazon are sort of low, and there's a lot of exposure to, say, Harry, a history of, with Melissa and Ellie, who has a huge following on LeakyCauldron.com, and she's awesome, the book's great. But there are some other books that I think, in lieu of waiting for the films and waiting for more from uh, Rowling herself, who knows when we're going to get another Beetle of the Bard, or while we're waiting for the Scottish book, uh, there's books out there that could be read that are really excellent, deep analysis books. They're not companion books. They're not encyclopedias. And that, that while they're not authorized by J.K. Rowling, um, she hasn't never really said anything bad about these books being written. And a lot of the authors of these books present uh, at conferences. Um, I know that John Granger, the guy I'm going to be talking about today, is uh, presenting at both LeakyCon and Azcatraz, and he'll probably have both of these books on hand, and he has a new book coming out in July called Harry Potter's Bookshelf. So let's turn to the table behind me. All right, and here's a stack of a few uh, post-Deathly Hallows books that were released um, these aren't all of the Harry Potter analysis books that I have, and as you can see, the top two here are the ones that I'm going to be focusing on right now. The first is called How Harry Cast His Spell, The Meaning Behind the Mania, for J.K. Rowling's best-selling books, written by John Granger, who is, I'm sorry, he's not related to Hermione Granger. That's just fluke of luck. Um... I've been able to, I've met John Granger a couple of times. He came to the school that I went to for my graduate study, and I'd never really read Harry Potter analysis. He got uh, me onto it, and he did this right before April, I think it was like April 2007, before the last Harry Potter book came out, and I remember having a discussion with a friend, uh, a new friend who I just met there, both of us Potter fans. We were talking afterwards, and he, and she said, um, what do you think of his lecture? Do you think he made correct predictions for Deathly Hallows? And I said, I think this guy knows what he's talking about. And he really does. And though all the predictions weren't accurate, I mean, not everybody's predictions were accurate. We know from Pottercast that I guess John Noe got a lot right. But if you look at the MuggleNet.com book, they thought 100 to nothing to one chance uh, Dobby wouldn't die. He's the least expected character to die. And as we know, Oh, sad. Uh, Dobby did go. So, not everybody gets it right, but the larger themes, like the Christian symbolism that we largely saw play out in Deathly Hallows with the scripture on the tombstone, and um, it, that's in the Godric's Hollow Graveyard, and uh, the literary alchemy of the series, Granger got spot on, and his books are really great for people who are just getting into Harry Potter analysis books, this book in particular, written post-Deathly Hallows, encompassing the whole series, um, is a really excellent first book to read if you've never read Harry Potter analysis books. So, uh, yeah, it's about, I don't know, it's a little under 300 pages long. It gives you something to read. Uh, the first chapters deal with elements of the series, and the latter chapters are going to deal with... Uh, a uh, chapter for a book itself. I think there's a couple chapters in here for Deathly Hallows because the last volume is so significant. Um, so yeah, John Granger, How Harry Cast His Spell. It's available on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, and his private press, uh, Zosima. Let's see if I can find a picture of the press. No, I can't seem to find it right now. But Zosima Press, uh, it has a website. You can order it through there. And this is how Harry cast his spell. Spell Actually, um, looks like it's Tyndale. But Zosima.com, you can find a link t to find this book. It runs about $15 brand new. So not that much. Great reading. Fun. The other book I wanted to talk to you briefly about right now, and we'll spend a little more time with this later, is The Deathly Hallows Lecture, which is one of the few books that focuses on a single volume of the Harry Potter series. And this is subtitled, The Hogwarts Professor Explains Harry's Final Adventure, with the A in the Deathly Hallows symbol. Isn't that cute? You can also find this at the same websites that I listed out for How Harry Cast His Spell. And there's some really excellent excellent uh, lectures in here and essays, some that used to be on his blog. I was delighted to see there's the one about 
Harry Potter and its Dante influence. A lot about Professor Snape. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, if you like to learn about Professor Snape, you get a lot out of this book. Deathly Hallows Lectures is also available. Um, it's about $15 it runs. And this is a little over 200 pages. Really excellent. Uh, good editing on Granger's books. Awesome style. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun reading his works. John Granger is has a degree from the University of Chicago in Latin and Classics, so he has a background very similar to uh, Miss Rowling's. So, I'll leave you with that, and we'll come back with uh, some more uh, talk on some of the other books in the stack here. Alright, signing off for a little bit.